another edition of Tease Italy. We're wrapping up our Roman holiday tour with our beautiful tour manager, Isabella. And Isabella is Spanish, but she is married to an Italian, lives and works in Rome, and she's done many of our trips. And today we want to talk about tours. We had the three T's of Italy, time, transportation, and tours. Do you tour or don't you tour? And Isabella, I know that we are both in the tour business, so we always want people to think about tours. Why is it so important, though, from a practical perspective when you're coming here to Italy to make sure that you plan everything well and include tours? Absolutely, because uh, it's quite difficult to find bookings uh, and you arrive uh, to the areas, you don't know how to move, where the line is. Uh, I have to say that Rome is extremely crowded, so you really need to be helped, especially how to go through metal detector. You need some uh, important information, which if you're on your own, you're a little bit disoriented. I'll never forget a conversation that Dominic and I had on one of our early trips to Rome. It was probably the third or fourth time we were here. We were wrapping up, having a lovely dinner around the corner, and we overheard an American couple talking about their trip and, and they were enjoying the food, but they looked so tired and they were complaining. And I said, mind if I ask what's wrong? And they said, well, we tried to do it all on our own. Yes. And we stood in line most time and didn't yes. even know what we were looking at. That's right, exactly. I mean, it, it, it facilitates a lot your vacation because you don't have to worry about anything. Everything is organized. You just have to enjoy and somebody else is taking care of everything else for you. Yeah, because people need to understand that they say, well, I'm trapped into a tour, but if you're you're standing in line to see St. Peter's or you're standing in line to see Correct. the David or wherever, you're going to be in line and there's going to be time spent. There's no way to avoid the lines and if you want to avoid the lines, they overcharge, for example at the Colosseum, they overcharge you and then, however, you're not on your own, they gather you with other people and you have mandatorily to follow the times they give you. So if, let's say you want to spend one hour in the Colosseum. No, you have to spend an hour and a half because until an hour and a half, they don't pick you up to go take you to the Roman Forum. So it's really a bit tricky. Yeah, and it's also important to have someone like you who speaks the language, who's been in so many places in different situations, and you know how to maneuver the crowds through. A absolutely, because as I said, we are surrounded by crowds. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so it's so it's great to see you again. Great job. And, and we just had so much fun with Isabella. She's knowledgeable. She's so pleasant to work with. And she will be on future tours. We want you to think about this. At Tease Italy, we do both a private tour. If you want to hire a tour guide or a private driver, that's fine. But we really recommend the tours because you meet so many wonderful people. Everything is organized. And it's just a, a lot of fun. And may I say something else? Sure. Also, the agency is a very serious company. And they pick up the best guides. Otherwise, yes. you can encounter some guides that are very bad or they rush you because they have other services. So it's very important also to have a very good guide so you really understand what they're explaining. Yes, and we work both with corporate travel in the United States and our partner here is Ali and Tour. See you next time on Tease Italy and we hope that you tour with us. Ciao, ciao. We wait for you.